doctors need to care about their patients. You care more about yourself. The incident yesterday with Mrs. Hamer, she could have died, and it was not the first time. I was trying to help her. We can't support your continued status at the school. You should consider another career. You look happier than I feel. Okay, enough of that. <clears throat> I'm bright, beautiful, and successful. That's right, people will kill to be me. Sweeties, we gotta get up. Bella, help me. We're late. Stop, Bella. <sighs> oh, what am I thinking? That's not your food. There you go. What well, Bella doesn't pass her test. Oh, honey, of course she'll pass her test. I think I'm the one who's nervous. Will she have to go to the emergencies in the middle of the night? Well, that's not how therapy dogs work, Melanie. They go to the hospital and they sit with sick and patients who are in pain and, and they make them feel better and calm and relaxed. How much will she be paid? Aiden, not everything we do is for money. Sometimes helping people that need it is the best reward there is. Melanie, where are you going, sweetie? We're in a hurry. I had to find Dad's medal. I just for good luck. I wanted Bella to have it. Your dad would have really liked that. Here, let's get it on her. No, don't worry about it. No, anytime. Okay? Right. Hey, honey. Well, you just lost your money. You're so gullible. This is Dr. Matthew Olson, works with the children at the hospital, he left his wallet at home, a little car trouble. He looks like a beggar. Yeah, well, everybody looks like a beggar to you. Did you order for me? Yes. Fruit, muffin, coffee. Look, we need to have a talk, okay? Uh, this is triggering. I'm sorry, look, that's probably mine. Here, take this one. So, Sandra, something's been going on I really want to share with you. This is sugaring up too, Jordan. Yeah, I tasted it, and it was a little bit bitter, so I added some sugar, honey, please. Jordan, is it too difficult to order two coffees, but just one of them with sugar? Of course not. You eat your fruit. I'll get you another coffee. Can we talk. I get back. I promise. Stay getting any worse. Sandra? Sandra Wellington. 
You look exactly the same. A little skinnier. Don't you recognize me? Uh, um, so sorry, no. Lena Thompson, remember? Houston Street, Lincoln Elementary. You used to live across the street. <laughs> you practically live there too. All the sleepovers, dress up, the doll parties, oh, and the mud pies. <laughs> I'm not sure if I remember the mud pies. But then you moved. Now, why was that? Oh, I remember. Your parents, they divorced. I was so sorry. You must have me confused with someone else. Stupid me. Of course, that's not a good memory for you. That was such an awful time. Lena, right? Oh, well, listen, it was very nice running into you. Um, I'm just waiting for my boyfriend, so have a nice life. Oh, but I was coming to see you. I'm here with Tanya Mercado. She has an appointment with you at 9.30. That's impossible. I, I don't have an appointment for another hour. No, 9.30 a.m. We confirmed it yesterday. This is ridiculous. How do I not know about this? Oh, I wouldn't worry. Tanya is usually late anyways. My mother will not believe that I saw you. No, I do worry. I, I mean, I have a schedule that I have to stick to. If I don't stick to it, then what's the point? This is just crazy. Jeannie. Good morning, Ms. Wellington. <gasps> Jeannie. First of all, you're late. Second of all, it's 9.14. I have an appointment at 9.30 with a client that I had no idea about. I don't know anything about an appointment at 9.30. Really? Oh, and now why is that? Because you're the one that makes the appointments. It's your job. If you don't know about it, how am I supposed to know about it? Mm. Oh, good. You brought the rat to work. Well, she's really very quiet. I mean, I was going to leave her at home, but I couldn't today. <sighs> Listen, the patient is Tanya Mercado, Channel 8 news anchor. Mm -hmm. I want her file on my desk in five minutes. Also, I'm a nutritionist, so people who work for me shouldn't look like they need a nutritionist. Achoo! You okay? Uh, the file. I'll be in my office. Are you okay? Oh, I don't do charity. I don't do charity because I'm not good at it. If they're not good at their job, I'll let go. That's that. Got a far genie. Hi. Hi. Good morning. I'm Lena Thompson. This is Tanya Mercado. She has an appointment with you at 9.30. So I understand. She's expecting me, right? Of course. I just have a little bit of paperwork for you to fill out. I really need a hurry. I understand, but Ms. Wellington is a big stickler when it comes to these forms. Sign right here and- She in her office? Yes, but I'll announce you. Wait. So just fill out this top part here and then front and back on page one and two. <clears throat> Jordan. Coffee, no sugar. All right, look. I told you we needed to talk. Are you gonna just leave me at the restaurant? Sorry, honey. I just, I found out about a last minute appointment. Are you kidding me? You're firing Jeannie? What does she do? <laughs> Not her job, for one thing. Sandra, you fired three people already this year. Don't you think you're a little hard on everyone? Jordan, don't tell me how to run my business, okay? But about this appointment. It's Tanya Mercado. <gasps> can you imagine what this can do for my business? I'm not really talking about your business. Like, I'm talking about your, your life in general. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some dinner for us tonight, and I want us to sit down and have a real conversation, okay? Jordan, we talk all the time, and I can't do dinner tonight. I have an appointment with my suppliers. No, no, I'm serious. I need you to make some time for me. Okay, okay, okay. Tanya Mercado, I love that. Thanks, honey. Bye-bye. <sighs> yeah, eat your breakfast.
Miss Mercado, good morning. Come on in, please. I just need to fill out these forms. Oh, those aren't important. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you today? I'm good. Have you worked for her long? I don't think anyone works for her that long. <laughs> Bella, no. Come. Oh, Bella, it's Bella. She's so precious. She's very social. Yeah, she has a knack for knowing people. She's actually training to be a therapy dog. Oh, really? I can see how she would be wonderful with sick people. Oh. She uh, had her first orientation last week and passed with flying colors. She has her second one today. That's the real test. I'm sure she'll be great. I'm so glad you came to see me. Now, just what is our problem? I'm on TV. My life is very public. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Everyone can stand to use a little weight. That's not why I'm here. Here you go. Here Thank you. you. There you go. I knew her when she was a child. Ms. Wellington was a child? I'm sorry, that was really rude. <laughs> she was very fun, always smiling, so sweet. She was such a great friend. Are we talking about the same Ms. Wellington? Of course. Her parents divorced, and it was a particularly brutal divorce. She was just never the same after that. Well, she doesn't talk about her personal life, especially her childhood. It's like all children. They tend to blame themselves. I know that she did. These days, she seems to blame everybody else. Maybe she needs to be reminded. Of what? Of how it used to be. You see, it's natural I gain a little bit of weight. Are you pregnant? Yes. How did you know? I don't know. It just, <laughs> it just came to me. Um, last time you were in my office, you said that was physically impossible for you. Yes, and then I met Lena Thompson. Bless her, she's so wonderful. Hello. Lena Thompson, your assistant? Did you hear that? Well, you know, the fact is, she doesn't seem that happy. I mean, maybe that's why she acts like she acts. Have you ever seen her happy? No, you know what? It's really none of my business. I, I just work here. But maybe if she smiled a little more? You know, I mean, she has that boyfriend, they don't even act like they're in love. Like you and your husband used to, before he died. H how do you know about my husband? Things happen in our lives, and they're not always good things. But we can learn things through change. Maybe change would be good for my old friend, Sandra. <laughs> Not my assistant. My healer. You see, my husband and I have been trying to have a child for uh, a long time, and I don't know how she did it, but she did it. So what do you what do you want from me? The proper diet. I mean, isn't that what you do? No. What do you want? Your body, your career. I mean, this is not about me. This is about my child. Oh yes. Well, some of us me is all we got. You don't you don't hear that noise? Uh... <laughs> Uh, no, but these lights are killing me. Jeannie, what is that horrible noise? And what's going on with the lights? I don't hear any noise. Do you hear a noise? Only what Bella hears. <laughs> what noise? The, the, it's deafening. The, the, the buzzing noise. You don't hear that. It's very loud. I don't hear anything, honestly. You don't hear, don't hear that? I don't hear anything. I get some hair. I don't hear anything. You don't anything. hear the noise. No. I gotta get some air. What's wrong with you? Are you okay? Uh, uh, Are you help. okay? Can you call the paramedics? Call the paramedics. Call the, call the paramedics. Dr. Scott, please. It's urgent. Sandra Wellington has fainted and she's convulsing. Okay, thanks. They're on their way. Give me something for her neck, a towel, or a blanket, or something. Call an ambulance, please. Okay. 
Okay. Yes, we need an ambulance. Just turn her legs out. Okay, thanks. She's breathing. They're on their way. Wait! Us! Oh, I must have passed out. At least that noise is gone. I'll stand up. Well, that didn't make much of a difference. Also, we're black and white. Maybe I got a head injury, like, I fell. What's up with these people? Can they see I'm lying here in this bag? Jeannie! Jeannie, help me up now! No, no, hush! Bella? Was she talking to me? Oh my goodness. That looks like me. Is it me? If that's me, then who... Hey. Oh my. Okay, guys, I'm taking her to Central. Wait! Wait, wait, where do you think you're going with me? You bring me back here right now! Bella, wait! Bella! Oh, shut up! That's my body they're taking away! Gosh, I'm going full speed and I can't catch up! Or did I just hold on a second, hey, Buster? That, what, what is that supposed to be? Bella! Bella! Wait! Bella, come now! Okay, hold on a second here, Buster. What is that supposed to be? What is that dog doing? Why is that dog doing what I'm doing? Why well, don't they see me? This is... This is crazy. I must have really hit my head badly. I'm... Bella! This, get, Bella! I'm not this dog. And I don't see me because I'm... Because I'm on that gurney. Where did I go? Bella! Come here! Someone stop that chihuahua! Wait! Wait, I gotta get my body back! Ah! Get away from me! No! Wait! Oh gosh! Where do you think you're going, huh? Oh, it's the beggar and I can't stop trembling. Shh, it's okay. It's so, oh, oh gosh. Ah. Sorry about your shirt, but thank you so much for catching her. It's not a problem. I mean, luckily I had an extra one, right? <laughs> uh, anyway, let, let me tell you why I came by here today. As you know, I coordinate the animal therapy for the hospital. And it's today, right? Her test? Test? What about my real body? Y yes, yes, today is her test. But with everything that's happened to your boss, I'm sure the judges will understand if you want to postpone it. Oh, no, I don't want to do that to Bella. I know it sounds silly, but I think she's really looking forward to the test. I don't think she'd understand if she didn't get to do it. Doesn't anyone get it? I have somehow become a dog. I think dogs sense stuff like that. I know Bella does. <laughs> well, I don't know, Bella. I guess if you're up to it, maybe we can do it. What do you say, Bella? Huh? Are you up for the examination? Are you ready for the examination? Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, Gosh, no. here, do I, 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 so I think I should stop holding her for... Oh, Bella. He's got to stop jiggling me like that. We're going to run some more tests. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Nothing's ever easy with you, is it? To me, I'm not a dog. Uh, Jeannie, hey, uh, this is Mr. Stock. He was at your first orientation, and he's going to supervise this one. Yes, I, I remember you. <laughs> well, thank you, and I certainly remember this little <laughs> darling. I don't know what's going on here, but we have a major problem. We need to take care of it right away. Is anyone paying attention to me at all? <laughs> He certainly seems pretty excited. I guess we should go ahead and get started. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, come on over here. Now, you I do understand get out of how here. this works, don't you? I, I'm pretty sure. Well, you know, in every hospital setting, these certified up on the therapy leash a dogs little. are exposed to all kinds of noise. I mean, there's crowds. There's patients who are in great pain. There's all kinds of emergencies oh, going on. God, don't and without do that this. going Let on, go. it's important that you realize that 
The oh trainer, gosh, this is that's hopeless. you, have to be in full and complete control at all times. Yeah, we have very high hopes for Bella. Well, we've, we've been working really hard at this. <laughs> okay, well then let's get going. Bella has got to walk the entire length of this room. We have volunteers. They're gonna be rattling chains and moving wheelchairs and anything to distract her. Okay, Bella, let's do this just like we practiced. Let's do this. Who are all these people? All right, I'm gonna do whatever it is we're doing here, but then I'm gonna get healed. Okay, heal, Bella, heal. Uh, that's not what I meant. Hey, watch it, buddy. <laughs> ah! What? Okay, I'm not gonna be a part of this. I gotta get out of here. I'm sorry, I I've never seen her act like this. Go on, maybe she'll adjust to it. Okay, L let's start again. Come on. Okay, they've, they've gone mad. They're, they're trying oh. to kill me. I just remembered I need to give her a treat. I, I forgot about the treats. That's surely what it is. <laughs> what is what is Sit, this? Bella. Is this a cookie? Ew. Ugh, that's disgusting. It has no taste. What's wrong with you? It's okay. Calm down. No. No, you're yourself. I'm not hanging out here getting half run over and eating those things you call cookies. I want to get my body back. Why are we not doing anything about this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Get me out of here! Jeez, Bella! Jeez! Oh, this looks safe. Oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. Ha! Na, 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 na. I, I, I've never seen this dog act like this before. Act like what? You guys are trying to kill me. How do you think I'm gonna act? Ha ha. Well, if you didn't want on my diets, you'd be able to catch me. <laughs> oh, jeez, why are these people staring at me? Well, I can tell you that I've never seen anything close to this from that dog before, or she would have never passed the first orientation. Oh, giving up. How nice. Hey, you cheated. Now I got you. Wait, Mr. Stock, wait, 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 wait. to say anything. I can pretty much guess what they said. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I really am. I don't understand it. Me either. I've never seen her behave like that. I mean... Well, maybe she was affected by what happened to your boss, Miss Wellington, today. Well, duh. No, I mean, I... I don't think that's really possible. I, she didn't even like her. You know, I mean, she barely knew Bella existed. Oh, I know it now. Yeah, I heard she wasn't a very nice person. What? How can you say that? You didn't even know me. Well, either way, we failed the test. Ms. Mercado, right? I wanted to see if you've heard anything about Sandra. Well, they brought her here to the hospital, but that's really all I've heard. I was just worried, that's all. And how's your sweet little Bella? To be honest with you, she's really not herself today. Would you mind if I held her? You know what, actually, that would help me out a lot. I need to find my keys. <laughs> yeah, right, Bella, I'll be right back. Sandra? Sandra, is she talking to me? Sandra, I'm very sorry about what happened to you. I don't always know how these things will take place. She knows I'm Sandra. Get me out of here. Get me back to my body. You doing okay? Huh, I seem to be a poor substitute for you. I'll be right there, just one more second. Just be strong. There's a reason why you're in that body, but you have to stay strong. You did this to me? Are you some kind of witch? 
I'm afraid I don't know if this is temporary or permanent. What? Well, I need to get back to my kids. But you know what? If you check in with me every now and then, I'll let you know uh, what's going on with Ms. Wellington. Thank you. I will do that. Sure. Have a good night. Good night. Come on, Bella. Can't be a dog forever. I have my own life. Won't they give her another chance? Well, there's a chance. We'll just have to wait and see. Bella's never held like that before. Now I'm stuck with dog food on top of everything. Gross. She's never done this before. Maybe she's sick. That's why she's acted weird. Maybe she is sick. Are you sick, baby girl? I am not your baby girl. And let's get this clear. I'm not eating dog food. You know, maybe we should let her rest for a little while. Later on, I'll take her to the vet if I get a chance. It'll be okay, Bella. It's not gonna be okay. I'm frightened out of my mind. It wasn't the fall. We can't see any physical reason for her reaction. But it is a coma, right? It appears to be, but we're gonna run more tests and see if we can find something internal. Right now, we just gotta watch and wait. I'm sorry, doctor. I understand. Just Anything else changes you, let me know. I'm gonna make my rounds. Hey. It's hard to understand, you know? <laughs> you never had that talk with her, did you? Mm, I tried, you know. She never lets me get a word in edgewise. I'm sorry. I guess this feels a little weird with her here in the room. Yeah. Never expected this to happen. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not your fault, really. No, I know. Just, um... Uh... We always promised each other that if we ever met somebody else, that we would talk about it first. Are you having second thoughts? No, I'm just, um, I'm just a little confused, that's all. There's a substitute filling in for my boss today, so I can't bring Bella into the office with me. She's going to Grandma's with Aiden? Yeah, will you watch Bella for me today, Aiden, at Grandma's? You know how her dogs are. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get you guys in the car. We're in a hurry. Let's go. Get you strapped in. Get Bella strapped in. There you go. Okay, let's get Adam Bella out of the car quick. The wicked witch. Oh, so I'm the wicked witch. You are so fired. Mom, I don't like to talk bad about people in front of the kids, especially mm -hmm. my boss. Thank you so much for doing this. I'm going to take Melanie to school and then we'll be back after work to pick up Aiden and Bella. Okay, well, Thank don't you. worry about us. Thanks so much. We've got it under control, don't we? Bye. Bye. This kind of reminds me of my house when I was a kid. Okay, Aiden. Let's let the pretty lady out of her bag, and then let's you and me get some cookies, okay? I'm not moving from here. I can tell I'm not wanted. She's been sick. She'll come out when she's ready. Come on, how about those cookies? This is a nice place. I wonder if she has anything to eat, other than dog food anyway. I'm so hungry. Huge. Uh, don't eat me. <laughs> Mac, Jack, time to eat. You too, Bill. 
Stella. Oh, guess I give it a try. I'm hungry. Good boys. Good boys. Bella? Where's Bella? Eat, Bella. Dog food, of course. Ugh, looks so disgusting. Bella, you have to eat. Mm, okay, maybe just this once. I am hungry. How humiliating. I hope nobody sees me doing this. Well, I certainly am not going to tell. I guess it's not that bad. And What are you looking at? Mm, 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 mm. Hey, what are you doing? That's my food. Grandma Bella's food. Bella? You going to let them eat your food? Hey, back off. Back off, guys. This is mine. Wow, this is working. It's great. <laughs> Not that bad. Eat salt. Mm. Mm. That looks so boring. Uh-huh, go fetch yourself. I'm not running after smelly tennis balls. Thank you. after all that. Over, guys, give me a little room here. Hmm. You know, these aren't so bad. Hmm. I haven't had this much fun since I was a little girl. Gosh, since I played with Lena. Oh, that's right. That was so long ago. Oh, but we had so much fun. Slumber parties, dolls. Guys! You know, when I'm human again, those fake bacon dog treats for everybody. On me. Any word on Sandra? No, I haven't heard anything yet. Great. Well, um, go ahead and cancel all of her appointments. Uh, put them off for a couple weeks anyway. I will need some time to go through these files. Can I help you with that? Well, I mean, I'll have to do it between my own clients, but um, if I should need anything, I have your number to call, right? You can call me anytime. Great. Meanwhile, um, you may need to go down to part-time for a while, at least until we know about her recovery time. And um, unfortunately, if it's longer, you may need to start looking for a new job. Thank you. 
thank you for your honesty. I kind of figured as much. Jack are nice guys, but they are slobs. Hey, what happened? Grandma, Grandma, wake up! What's wrong with her? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys gotta call an ambulance right away. Hey, why aren't you doing anything? Come on! Oh jeez, I'm not a doctor, but... She needs help. That head wound doesn't smell good. Okay, where's the phone? Ah, there it is. All right. What are you doing, Bella? Oh, well, aren't you gonna call 911? We need to help Grandma. Okay, come on, pick up the phone. I'm too young to use a oh, phone. Jeez. Oh, I gotta do everything around here. Did you just call someone? Well, go on. Get on the phone. Hello. Tell them to hurry. My grandma's sick. Good thing he had your phone number in his pocket. Well, I got here as fast as I could. Is she gonna be okay? It was a nasty fall, but she's gonna be fine. Very smart to teach a kid how to dial 911 at his age. Came in handy. Did I teach him that? If it hadn't been for our little hero here, I don't know where I'd be. I can't remember what happened. I guess I slipped and hit my head on the coffee table and just blacked out. I'm so proud of you, little man, but I'm a little confused. Who taught you how to dial 911? I did dial. Here it comes, Mom. He's been telling me this story ever since he came home. I didn't. What is that smell? It smells so familiar. Almost too familiar. Then how did you talk to the operator at 911? Bella dialed, not me. Like the dog could dial the phone. Well, she did. Oh, whatever that smell is, it's driving me crazy. I gotta find out what it is. Bella's very, very smart, sweetie, but even Bella doesn't know how to dial phone numbers. I'm telling the truth. It's coming from down there, I think. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's getting stronger. Okay, I'll just sneak past you guys. This is convenient. Thanks for the ride. It's really getting strong here. Where's my staff? So I'll have someone with you right away. Oh, it smells like it's coming from here. This is it. Nurse, there, there are rats in this hospital. There are no rats in this hospital. It's here. The smell is coming from here. Oh, who's on that bed? Yes, this is definitely it. Okay. All right, lady, let's just see who you are. <gasps> it's me. I'm here. It, it's me. It's both of me. Sandra. Sandra, wake up. I'm here. Wake up. Please. End this nightmare. Whatever happened, I'm just glad somebody dialed 911, even if it wasn't you. It was Bella. How is Bella doing? She seems awfully quiet. Maybe she's sleeping. Bella, Grandma wants to talk to you.
Mom, Bill is not here. Watch him. Come on. Hello? Do doctor, come on. Luke, someone has to listen to me. Okay, sir, what can I help you with? I saw a rat. A rat? Okay, don't believe me. But if something is not done about the rats in this hospital, you are going to be looking for another job. All right, sir. I understand. Just please tell me, where did you see this uh, rat? A rat. It hopped off of a cart and ran through that door right there. Okay, just just stay right here and I'll check it out, okay? Right in that room. All right. How did you get in here? I'm here. You lost little puppy. Stay away from me. Stay away from both of us. I'm not moving from here until we get this confusion straightened out. Jordan? There's a little puppy in here. Saunders room. Hey, Bella. hey, hey, hey. Bella. What are you doing? There are patients sleeping here. I'm sorry, we, we, we lost our dog, a chihuahua. What would a dog be doing here? She doesn't really like animals too much, so you don't understand. This is unusual. Um, Jordan, dear, tell this woman who I am. I mean, we're practically engaged, sort of. So, you've never seen this dog before? Mm. I mean, the only thing you can think of is that her secretary has a chihuahua. Okay. But uh, I don't know how I got here, if that's the case. Because I am Sandra, stupid. <sighs> Sometimes you just don't understand me. Didn't you say she has a problem getting close to people because the puppy's really pushing it there? Mm -hmm. Jordan, you need to set her straight. If it was her, she'd be trying to tell her to lose weight, right? She'd be like, cut back on the kibbles, you know? You gotta watch <laughs> your carbs a little bit. I'm serious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is that what you really think about me? I shouldn't be laughing. That's kind of me. You're such a funny guy, Jordan. Even when you shouldn't be. But why are you letting her touch you like that? Mm -hmm. You can't do this. Mm -hmm. <sighs> actually, it might be easier if you actually could take a little walk, go away for a little while. You want me to take a hike? Take a hike. Okay. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I become a dog and you dump me? <sighs> what a day it's been. Hey, get your hands <laughs> off him. Oh, come on, you can stay. Well, looks like she's got a guard dog now, you know? Yeah. I got, I got a friend. He might be able to help us. He actually runs the therapy with the animals at the hospital. Mm -hmm. Give it a shot. Maybe he can help us out. Girl. You a little guard dog? You a little guard puppy. Come any closer and you'll lose a finger, you two-timer. Wait, you're, you're not the two-timer. He's the two-timer. Whatever. Matthew, hey, it's Dr. Jordan. Yeah, I'm at the hospital. I have a little dog trouble. Yeah, could you come down? That'd be great. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Dog trouble. <sighs> dog trouble. <laughs> You never treated me like that. The patient was complaining he saw a rat. Bella! I hope so. I prefer your dog to a rat. It's this way. Come here, Bella. Come oh, come no, here. it's the beggar again. Oh, okay. Look, buddy, don't touch yeah. me. You know what happened the last time. Oh, I owe you a dry clean bill. You know that? So this is the secretary's dog, huh? Yeah, yeah, this is the one and only Bella, everyone. <laughs> yeah, but how did she get here? I mean, isn't that a little odd? That is a very good question, actually. Huh. Oh, Bella. Oh, hey. Thank you. Hey, no problem, it's okay. That wasn't very nice, Bella. We were worried. Uh -oh. That's Miss Wellington. Hey, Jeannie, um, how did the dog get here? Did you bring her? She got away from us. She, she didn't do anything bad, right? No, 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 not at all. You just told me that Sandra and her had no connection. They don't. I mean, she's met her maybe a handful of times at the office, but they, they, they she sneezes when she sees Bella. Oh, you're telling me. Well, now I've had a big change of attitude. Besides, it'd be pretty bad if you sneezed around yourself. She doesn't really like animals at all. In fact, um, 
thing is, is she's pretty attached. I mean, almost protective. I'll vouch for that. You stay out of this, you hussy. I don't understand that. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to me. Why don't we take this outside before a supervisor comes in? It's a good idea. <laughs> I don't know how you guys snuck in here, but it's entirely against the rules. I know, I'm, I'm sorry. We'll, we'll leave her at home from now on. Excuse me, but my body's in there. I have to be in there with my body. Bella, hush. You've caused enough trouble today. Mom, hasn't she come to the hospital before? When was that? She auditioned to be a therapy dog. It didn't go very well, though. That's saying it mildly. <laughs> therapy dogs don't run through the hallways and jump on sick people. Therapy dogs, though, are welcome here anytime, just like you guys. Oh, great. Why didn't somebody tell me that before they started rattling chains at me and trying to hit me with wheelchairs? I have to be in there with my body. Take care. Sorry again. Yeah, Jeannie. Yeah. Here you go, Jeannie. Thank you. Yeah. I'm so embarrassed. No, no, no. It's okay. Um, listen, if I, if I was to give Bella another trout, would you go for it? Like that's gonna happen? So you're just giving up? Well, no, I, I don't want to give up. But I mean, did you see the look yeah. on the judges' faces? Yeah, I, I saw Bella today. And, and I saw her laying on this woman's body. And, and she had this certain uh, protective affinity for the sickness. Yes, Jeannie. Are you listening to him? Listen, after seeing what I saw today, I, I'm willing to go out on a limb to get her another chance. Listen to this, hippie. Maybe he's not such a bad guy after all. Well, look, if you do, I don't want you to get in any trouble. I haven't had the easiest life. But I learned at a young age that if you want something bad enough, you can never give up. Ever. I'll be able to pass that test in my sleep now that I know why I'm doing it. Okay. You're on. Good. All right. All right, guys. I'll see you later. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Let's go to the car. This is not something we usually do. I remember you saying how impressed you were with her during her first orientation. Yes, and that's the only reason I'm listening to you now. So you'll consider it? <sighs> you know, I'm going out on a limb here. You better not make a fool of me. Fair enough. Sandra Wellington's office? This is she. That's great. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. You, you will not be sorry. OK, great. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yes! You know, this is unusual, especially this soon. Well, this time we won't let you down. <laughs> they can get ugly if I waste their time. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Come. Bring it on. I got this down. Good girl, Bella. Good girl. If I hadn't have seen it, I wouldn't believe it. Are you sure this is the same dog? Oh, if you only knew. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. I think she likes you. <laughs> I like her too. Thank you. Thank you for making this happen. Well, we made progress today. Now I just have to get back to that hospital. You guys would have been so proud of her. She did absolutely perfect. As long as she had Dad's lucky medal, of course it was going to be perfect. It wasn't perfect the first time. Well, it was this time. Oh, Mom, I forgot. Here's the mail. Oh, great. Thanks so much. Yeah, that would have been
have been great. What, Mom? Some people want Mommy to go to their school. Don't you want to go? I do want to go. I need to get an education so I can make more money. But now's not the time. Why not? Because your boss is sick? You need money to go to school, and we're just going to have to wait a little while longer. Soon. You wouldn't be holding me back if it was your body in there. Slow down, Bella. Hey there, Bella. Come here. Oh, you ready for your very first big day, huh? That's it. I remember that door. <laughs> She's so excited she can't stand it. Well, let's not waste any time. Follow me. Sure. Wait, where are you guys going? She seems to want to go this way. We're not going that way, honey. Come on. That's interesting. This is Sandra Mullington's place. You think she knows that? All right, girl. If you're a really good dog, I promise we can come back here, okay? But for right now, we have some very sick children who need your help first. All right? Come on. Well, Let's go. Come on. all right, but only if we <laughs> can come back dog. here. This is important. Come on, Bella. Good girl. See, Bella? They're not expecting me to do that, are they? Jason, how you doing today, buddy? Hey, we brought you some company. And he's been waiting. He's so excited. <laughs> Here you go, Bella. Do your thing. Uh, am I doing this right? All right, so I just stand here and get scratched. <laughs> So now what? Sign this cast? Hi, Bella. Good girl, Bella. So, kid, what'd you do to break your arm, your leg, and your head? Do you want to go skateboarding, Bella? Huh? Ah, that. Huh? Good girl. You want Bella to bring you a toy? Yes. She can fetch a toy? Yes. Yeah? Okay. It's a toy, Bella. Okay, so you want me to bring over the doll, right? Here you go. This doesn't smell right. Okay, go bring it to Manny, Bella. Good girl. Mm -hmm. She brought you a dinosaur. Do you like dinosaurs? Ah! Yes. Oh, good. I think she likes them, too. <laughs> good girl, Bella. <laughs> good girl. <laughs> Sit pretty. <gasps> So good. Speak. Good girl. Down. What a good girl. Can I hold her? Sure. Here you go, sweetie. There you go. Say hello, Bella. <laughs> oh, how many more of these do we have to go through? Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, it took so long. It's all ready to go. It's okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Is that a camera? Not just any camera, Jeannie. This is an instant camera. Ooh. I'm moving up in technology. Here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Lauren, I need a big smile from you, okay? Smile, Bella. Come on, Bella, smile. Yeah, you too, Bella. And just how does a dog smile? All right, one, two, three. Well, that is old school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. Now they have to take pictures. Here, I'm going to give you this camera. It's yours. Yeah, it's for you. Because oh. you know what, Lauren? When I was a kid, I spent a lot of time in the hospital, and I didn't like it very much. But my fondest memory was of the therapy dogs. So I hope this picture reminds you of some of the good times. This is so cool. I'm going to put it on my wall. Look at this. See it? <laughs> I guess he's not such a bad hippie after all. <laughs> <It's> you, Bella. <Bella. laughs> I think today went really well. What do you think? Yeah, we had a great time. Yeah, did you did you have fun? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> well, congratulations, Bella. I think your very first day went well. What do you think, huh? Well, I should be able to do what a dog does. 
You were wonderful, Bella. You were wonderful, just like I knew you would be. <laughs> Great. Now let's go see my body. So I have you down for Friday. Yeah. Friday? What about tomorrow? Uh, you know what? I don't have a lot going on at work tomorrow. Maybe we can come back tomorrow. <sighs> yeah, yeah, that should work out just fine. Uh, I'll look into it. I'll let you know in the morning. Okay, Jeannie? Great. All right, good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like somebody else doesn't want to leave either. <laughs> well, what is it, girl? Why don't you just get to wait until the morning time? Huh? No, no, no. You promised. <laughs> Bella, what's wrong with you? Oh, what do you think is wrong with me? Do you think this has something to do with Sandra? Great. Let's state the obvious, shall we? I guess there's only one way to find out. Come on. Come on, Bella. Finally, don't worry, we'll fix this, don't worry. to believe that they've never had a relationship before. Yeah, I, th I thought Sandra hated dogs. All animals, for that matter. Not even really sure how she feels about people. Crazy woman, you did this to me! Stay away! I understand you're upset. Upset? I'm ready to rip your throat out and chew you up, except I'm a stupid little chihuahua. Could have been a German Shepherd. Then you'd be in real trouble. I haven't forgotten you. I have to wait for the right moment when no one is around. I can't be seen talking to a dog. Hmm, imagine that. Leave me alone. You have to take this experience very seriously. Do I look like I'm laughing, lady? Change me back or go away. Pay attention to everything. Everything you feel, you smell, and you see. You don't have much time and your future depends on it. This is all going to end soon and it may not be good. What's that supposed to mean? You know, most good therapy dogs I've come across can usually pick out people who are sick or in pain. Maybe she could sense something about Sandra that her doctors can't. Wouldn't surprise me. Let's go back inside. Lena, what are you doing here? Uh, just stopped by to see how Sandra was doing. How'd you get in here? It's past visiting hours. I guess nobody stopped me. Uh, but you're right, I really do need to go. It's good to see you again, Jeannie. You too. Who's that? So that's Lena. She was friends with Sandra when they were kids. That's so weird. Oh, what is going on? Oh, great. Another fun family dinner. They get chicken, and I get dog food. What do they think? I'm going to choke on a bone? I wish you guys could have seen Bella today. She was amazing. I knew it. Good job, Bella. <laughs> like it's so hard. It took you forever to pick us up. Well, you know, Bella went into my boss's room and she laid right down on her chest. I mean, she it, we couldn't get her to come off. Maybe she likes her. <laughs> That's dumb. She wasn't very nice to Bella. She was a really mean lady. What? That's not a nice thing to say. Why not? She was never nice to you. She was always angry and yelling at stuff. Why should anybody want to use her as their doctor? She's a nutritionist. I don't know what that is, but I wouldn't want her as that either. You know, sometimes there are reasons that people aren't nice. Because they're mean? Well, sometimes people aren't nice because maybe their life isn't good, or maybe they don't like themselves. Or maybe they don't like anybody. But, well. You know, there was a lady who came into my office who said she was friends with my boss when they were little girls. She said that she laughed and played and had fun just like any other little girl would. Then what happened? I don't know. I think her parents got divorced. My dad died in Iraq, and I'm not mean to people. I'm glad you aren't. Your dad would be so proud of you. Both of you. <sighs> Thank you. 
walking too slow here. Those kids are not going to be happy if they have to wait too long. Here soon. Who are these people? Don't you know, they came to visit you and they brought a very special friend here. This is Bella, and she wants to be your friend. Yup, I'm the happy puppy. Ow. I'm I'm so sorry. I don't know what gets into her. There's nothing to apologize for. Y you know Bella here? She's been throwing cups all morning long at everyone. But don't worry about it. Go back with dogs in a better mood, okay? All right? Thank you. I know she's not new. I've seen her before. She's been ill a long time. It's been very hard. And now her parents are separating. Why? It happens, especially with these long-term situations, you know, especially when it costs as much as this one does. No, it never solves anything, you know? It just always makes it worse, and then leaves the poor kids blaming themselves for everything. Dr. Olson, Dr. Howard needs to see you. Okay. Let's go. The vital signs are deteriorating. Her body seems to be shutting down. You don't sound very hopeful. If we knew what was wrong with her, we could fix it. We can't fix it, we can't diagnose. <coughs> What's wrong with her? If I didn't know any better, I'd say she understood what you said. So what now? Frankly, I think it's just a matter of time. You guys are doctors. I mean, can't you fix this? I can't believe you're talking like it's all over. I'm so sorry about all this. I wanted to end the relationship, but not like this. I know you have feelings for her. Of course. She was my friend, you know? She didn't have any family. That was all she had. Do you want to be left alone for a while? Maybe just for a little while, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. If you decided you still love her, it's okay, Jordan. Trisha, honey, you don't have anything to worry about. I just wanted you to know, okay? I can't get near her. I, I, I've never seen her act this way before. Well, I talked to the nurses, and they said that you and Bella can spend the night if you need to. Okay. And don't you dare try to separate me from my body. Did you talk to your mom? Yeah, she's going to keep the kids. Okay. Are, you're sure it's okay? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. We just need to sign a release form for legal. Uh, out there? Yeah. Okay. It'll only take a minute. Jordan, you, you'll be okay if, if you watch over for just a second, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll keep an eye on the dog. Okay. Jordan, you have another girlfriend? Why didn't I know this?
wish I could have told you this while you were awake, but you never gave me the chance. I listened to you. At least I thought I did. It's like every time I tried to open up or share my feelings with you, you'd, you'd shut me down, you'd ramble on to something else. I'd always listen, you know, because that's what you needed. For some reason, you could never do the same thing for me. Well, I'm doing it now. I'm granted, I'm a dog and I have to listen to people. <sighs> because nobody hears me. The only way they do hear me is if I bark, but then they just think I'm hungry or have to go to the bathroom. <sighs> I felt like I was just like some puppet for you to push around. I don't think I've ever had you this quiet before. I met someone else. She listens and she cares. And it doesn't always have to be about her. Not that doctor. And I wanted to tell you, you know, before I, uh, I got any more serious with her. Cause that's the deal we had, you remember? I still love you, Sandra. I always will. I just think that somehow we had different definitions of what it meant to be in love with someone. And I found someone who shares my views, you know? So I can see a future with Trisha. Don't say that. You no, know, it's bright, it's exciting. I hope you can hear me. I hope you can forgive me. Don't be sad, Jordan. Maybe you're right. here love it's all right blankets cover babe but only i can hold you tight sing your song dove i love your tone what a woman tonight i'll never, never be alone, alone. heaven knows that the world can be so cold Call it what you want, babe Love has no name And in case you were wondering If I was untrue In a field of daisies I'd pick them all for you so cold call it what you want babe love has no name love has no name love has no name Jeannie, listen, Lena, my friend, was right. 
as much as those memories are painful to me, I was happy and fun-loving when I was a kid. I was also sick with some viral infection that took too much money and years to cure. It was so hard on my mom and dad. They got divorced. It was really, really hard on me too, and I got kicked out of med school because of it. You know, I guess I hired you because you were so nice. Maybe it would rub off on me, but it just made me angrier. I'm sorry I yelled at you. And if I ever get my real body again, I'll never treat you like that. She's on Sonder, right? No, she, no, she's not there. I, I don't know where she is. You know, I didn't mean to fall asleep. What? Bella. I asked all the nurses. They, they have no idea where she is. Well, we gotta find her. Oh, yeah, I know. Bella, you have got to see this. It's like a miracle. Go ahead. Is it Bella? This is how I found her this morning. I've never seen her like this. Thank you so much for coming. No. Thank you so much for calling us. Both of us. Maybe now would be a good time to tell her how you feel. Okay. Come on, Bella. Come on, Bella. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bella, you did a wonderful thing today. I have no idea how you knew what to do, but you really did a wonderful thing, okay? Right. Not bad for a witch, huh? Try harder. You can't. You can't give up now. Bella. Bella. Bella, 
Bella's not breathing. Sandra Wellington, nutritionist to the stars, including yours truly, has passed away of a mysterious ailment. Unfortunately, she hit her head a couple days ago, and doctors don't know exactly what happened. Cut! 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 Let's do it again. That was horrible. I, let's do it again. Are you ready? Okay. Get ready. Sandra Wellington, nutritionist to the stars. just happened. I mean, Sandra died, and then, and then, and then Bella died. And how, how am I supposed to tell? How am I supposed to tell Melody and Aiden that Bella's dead? What? Mom. Mom, no, I can't hear you. moment, ma'am. That's fine. I believe I left something. Thank you. I hope I wasn't any trouble. Wellington was a great nutritionist and a great humanitarian. She will be missed. Never mind. accountants big bucks so with that you can go to night school and when you're done you can be my accountant instead of my assistant if you're okay with that what happened to you in that hospital <laughs> are you okay I'm fine <laughs> when's Bella coming back to the office did someone tell you what she did for you at the hospital sure Bella and I are like this closer than you think <laughs> and Jeannie thank you Thank 
you, Sandra. I have to say, your engagement gift was more than generous. I, I was surprised. I'm sure, considering all the stories you must have heard about me. <laughs> what? I didn't tell her any stories, did I? <laughs> no. It's okay. Um, I wasn't the nicest person, but I'm gonna try harder. So you're really okay with all this? Yeah. It's better than you deserve. See, I'm glad someone else agrees with me there. Oh, this guy's showing us me put sugar in her coffee. <laughs> Congratulations. You guys are really lucky. You did good. Happy for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, are you done with me yet? Have I learned my lesson? Or are you going to turn me into a warthog or something? <laughs> I just wanted my old friend back, the one that was taken away from me years ago. I don't remember you doing this hocus pocus stuff when we were younger. Well, we learn our talents as we grow older. Ah. But I'm not totally done with you yet. See what you mean. Hey, Jeannie. Wow, you look great. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Dr. Hi. Olson, right? Yeah. Uh, Sandra, right? He works with the animal therapy program at the hospital. Mm. That's why Bella loves him so much. <laughs> yeah, I'm just glad she doesn't use me as a pee pad anymore. <laughs> that was so embarrassing. How'd you know about that? Would you like to go to dinner with me? Who, me? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, she's nicer now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I've been in the hospital for a while, being tube fed and all, so. I could use a big meal, and I'd love it if you could come with me. You know, you're not at all the person everyone said you were. Well, if you can believe this, I really haven't been myself lately. <laughs> <laughs> Squid chicken. Mom, look. <laughs> Chihuahuas. Hello, handsome. Thank you.